Hi guys, it's me Jimmy A Gig. So the question is that I'm a civil engineer and want to come into web development. Oh, you poor civil engineer. Oh, you poor civil engineer. Oh, you poor civil engineer. Firstly, in civil engineering, there's so much money. To be honest with you, there's so much freaking money. Number one question is that in which country you're located? If you're located some kind of like UK or maybe Australia not much money there if we are located something like i mean if you have a civil engineer degree i mean you can look into work some kind of big civil engineering company like working in hong kong there's so much infrastructure development in china even in the middle east i mean in dubai i mean there really is so many civil engineer there's more demand than supply i mean there there's so much demand but if we are in a first world white country, there is not much demand for civil engineer. That is a poor, I mean, thing. This, I mean, I don't know if you are white or which basic nationality you play. If you are, for example, I was just, I mean, reading an article that in UK there are so many civil engineers, but they cannot find work. Why? In UK, they do not need basically civil engineer build big infrastructure like build airport, like building dam, building railway station, building buildings. But in UK, I mean, they only build small houses, even they do not, I mean, now not much of an, any work going on. Back, I mean, when there were uh, 2012 Olympic Games in London, they really need a lot of civil engineer. But after that, they really do not need, they can easily contract from like from any country they want, where is a lot of civil engineer. But in, I mean, in first world country, especially in Europe, there is no much demand of civil engineer. Those countries, I mean, in, if you see in Europe, I mean, the country do not have enough money to basically enough money to provide basic food welfare system then why the hell the government will start to start any new project like our railway station our dam i mean so most of the time in european i mean they do not need civil engineer because the government basically gone bankrupt i mean the civil engineer in greek i mean the government do not have even any money to provide the basic need to their citizen then why the hell government will start new projects i'm just asking you why so the greek so the um the, the greek civil engineers are basically unemployed so the best thing they can do look into middle east or to any uh, like middle east or any muslim country there's so much demand for civil engineer middle east is like dubai yeah so so saudi arabia or you can look into Asian countries like Hong Kong. There's so much bloody demand. In, I mean, in for civil engineer in Hong Kong, even even there's demand. If you, to be honest with you, if you're a civil engineer without any degree, I mean, one of my friend he is from UK. Basically, he was a shovel. If you don't know shovel, I mean, basically a general worker in a construction industry. Shovel. I mean, how how to say? I don't know. Just Google shovel. He was that and then he become a foreman and then he become I don't know what the hell he become suddenly he come to Hong Kong basically he got enough experience and then suddenly become civil engineer in Hong Kong there's so much demand for civil engineer project manager pro construction manager or that kind of crap I mean look into Hong Kong I will say if you can I mean in Hong Kong easily 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 you can earn 16,000 Hong Kong dollar per month I mean if you divide into USA, I mean 7,500, I mean per month US dollar. In Hong Kong, I will say if you work as a civil engineer, annually you can earn $90,000, and then again triple zero, $90,000 you can earn 90. I mean, if you work in a Hong Kong, I mean, if you have a, like a master or some kind of bachelor in civil engineer, if you have few years experience under your belt, I mean, look into Hong Kong. If you look into China, I mean, a lot of, I mean, how to sell. Uh, basically it's, it's, it's hypocrisy I mean you will see that all of the world I mean news like UK US are bashing China and suddenly all of their civil engineers are applying for China I mean in China there's so much construction work is happening I mean the world to be honest with you double faces I mean anyways I do not want to go into politics or all, all that kind of horse crap look into China yeah China safety is a uh, a little bit not better compared to Hong Kong if the safety concern is number one look into Hong Kong in Hong Kong now we are developing the Hong Kong Macau bridge which is linking to Macau if you don't know what the hell is Macau Macau is again is a part of China but I mean one country two system I mean basically it's a country within a country I mean look into China look into Hong Kong for working as a, a Macau bridge 
or I mean you can look into some Asian country even in India there's some demand for civil engineers if I'm not wrong there's some uh, big projects are happening there I mean look into some kind of countries where is a lot of construction happening where is government pumping so much money into it there easily you can get a job so I mean in Hong Kong we are even hiring the civil engineer from Philippines from Indonesia from Pakistan in Hong Kong I mean there's so much demand look into Hong Kong basically again I, I know I basically gone off of the question you say you're civil engineer and want to come to web development so if you really can't find a job I will say look into Hong Kong but if you are already uh, you're already working but you are saying that you don't like working in a civil engineer basically I mean how to say the civil engineer have the worst feet in the world I'm not saying that why the civil engineer have to wear the waterproof boot all that time on the side I mean their foot become get fungus I mean bacteria their foot I mean their feet start cracking I mean I never want to work in a construction environment or as a civil engineer or I mean or personally you just hate I mean the noise of construction or dealing with construction general worker with the management working in a construction industry not easy whether you're a worker whether you're in a management position or whether you're civil engineer so now for this I will ask you to watch my video how to become a web developer without going to college or a software engineer without going to college I mean you are already a civil engineer so you already have good amount of understanding how the math works and, and mathematics work and how the physics work I mean civil engineers are how to they already have enough concept how to do the design to become a, to become a programmer it will be not hard for you basically you have already enough understanding all that kind of geometric stuff I mean yeah but that kind of geometric stuff we, we are gonna use in the web 3 um, I mean the next gen web which is open GL the 3d web currently we are still using a 2d web my personal bet is that I mean it's, it will be not hard for you but I mean if you can understand the basic programming language like HTML, CSS3, JavaScript and then try to play with the WebGL or web browser 3D game you already have the civil engineer degree I mean you already know how the 3D physics geometric stuff work so look into building a 3D game in a web browser or trying to build a 3D application in a web browser uh, there's already a news that Mario Super Mario 64 is coming in a web browser as a 3D I mean Open, look into open GL stuff I mean if you are if you can already I mean try to study teach yourself or you can attend a boot camp and then try to master in open GL because you already got a web engineer degree again I'm saying sorry sorry civil engineer degree again I'm saying look into open GL firstly you just need to I mean pick some book like I will include some link in the description box below and then go to code academy complete the html and csr and then the php and javascript course for free and then, uh, join the cs50x I mean online certificate from Harvard university on edx even I will include that link I mean you can easily come I mean you just need passion at least give you six months of time padding time I mean behind your back uh, try to teach yourself but uh, personally even I will say if you go to uh, like a boot camp check that link out I mean if you're USA check out the top 5 PHP boot camp or oh, to uh, I mean to learn within three months you can become a web developer if you really have the passion I will say look into a boot camp or give yourself six months or self taught yourself again I will say watch my video I have already answered in that video a lot of I mean which you are trying to find the information for yes you can but my personal bet going to WebGL that is a new thing a lot of people do not know a lot of web developers do not know how the uh, geometric stuff work how the GIS work look into that stuff if you have any question just leave it in the comment box below bye bye